It's amazing when you can experience great immersive music. Who needs drugs? When an MP3 became acceptable, that was a bad day for all of us. Whether you are a professional, audiophile, or just someone who appreciates the best audio quality, this is the show for you. This is Austrian Audio Backstage. Hello, my name is Philipp Schuster. I'm product manager here at Austrian Audio, and I'm your host for today's episode of Austrian Audio Backstage. Today, I want to tell you about our new headphones, the HiX15 and the HiX25. But before we get started, please be so kind to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell below, or give us a thumbs up on this video. Both these models feature the HiX 44mm driver that is already used in the HiX 55 headphones that have gained very positive reviews and multiple awards. Why is it important to have such a potential driver even in more affordable models or even Bluetooth models? Today's music production consists of a lot of transient signals due to the all-digital signal chain. So it's important that the driver really can transmit those signals. Conventional drivers that are off the shelf usually don't do this job very well. So this is why we have developed this 44mm driver of our own. This driver features a ring magnet system. A ring magnet system means that the magnet material is sitting outside of the voice coil. This lets the air that comes from the membrane pass through the magnet system freely. So the membrane can move freely without being obstructed by the whole magnet construction. Yes, this is more costly, but we definitely feel that it's worth the effort because you get very good results, very good transient signals, and an improved bass response. And this is what we have built even into these more affordable models. So this is the HiX15. And honestly speaking, you will not find a better headphone in this price range. The HiX15 has metal parts on the critical areas, it has super comfortable ear pads. You could fold it flat to put it in your case or fold it inwards if you want to put it in your backpack. It also has a detachable cable with the necessary adapter for the bigger jack plug. So this is really a headphone that stands out of its competitors. And this is the HiX25 Bluetooth. A Bluetooth headphone for the music production? Well, it features Bluetooth technology, so the usual touch controls on the side, um, but it also has the possibility to use it for digital audio and analog audio. So you have basically three options for your audio connection, either digital, analog, or Bluetooth. It comes naturally with the same features as the HiX15, like the metal parts uh, and the super soft ear pads. Also, with the modern music production in mind, and long listening sessions. Kareem, what's up? I'm good, what's up, how you doing? I'm fine. Look man, I just made a beat and I need some vocals for that. Maybe you can hook me up? Sure, let's do this. You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. One shot, it's a home run. You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. Don't you worry about a thing now. You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. One shot, it's a home run You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some Don't you worry about a thing now Great, great job, man. So now let's see what is inside of the box of the HiX25. The first thing you notice is that you have a Velcro here and this Velcro also serves as a cable tie. So you can basically cut it into pieces and use it to organize your cables. Inside, we have the quick start guide. Actually, you will not really need it. The headphone itself is very intuitive, so just in case. Then we have the headphones. Then we have the cables, um, analog audio cable, USB-C cable. There's also an adapter to USB-A in case that you need it. And then we have here this nice little pouch that's very comfy if you take the headphone with you. As we have designed those headphones with the professional user in mind, we have sent some hikes 15s to John McBride, owner of the famous Blackbird Studios in Nashville, 
to put them to the test. All right, I'm John McBride. I'm sitting in the D room at Blackbird Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. I've always loved music my entire life. And I have always wanted to be involved in music. I've been fortunate that I've gotten to work on a lot, you know, a lot of great records. Thank you, God, you know. Worked with Dave Stewart a lot from the Eurythmics, uh, done Stevie Nicks. With Dave also did Josh, Josh Stone and uh, Orianthe and some other artists that are signed to a label Dave has. One advantage to having a studio and having great people come in is that I can go in there and hear what's going on. Let's say it's Massenburg or Phil Ramone or whoever it might, might have been, Al Schmidt, you know, and you get to steal from the best. And that's a big advantage, really. I'm gear queer, no doubt about it. I love gear, I do. But the way I look at it, it's really just colors on the palette for an artist, the producer, the engineer. You want to give them every color with to be able to paint their picture. You know, that's what really matters to me is if you need a particular bizarre piece of gear, well, hopefully we have it. You know, after hearing the story of the AKG Mike Brainiacs started their own company called Austrian Audio. I thought, well, it's got to be great. AKG has always been a great mic manufacturer. Already, I had a great opinion on AKG, and I thought, well, if the main force of AKG engineers is, is at Austrian Audio, well, then it's definitely worth checking out, and I'm glad we did. Well, every time I walk in the tracking room, I want to make the best tracks that have ever been recorded. That's my goal every time I walk in. And I don't care if it's a 12-year-old band or an 80-year-old band. I don't care. I just want to make great audio. You know, that, that matters to me. I love tracking because you go in that morning and there's nothing. And by the end of the day, there might be a song or two or three that could change the world. What's better than that? So the drums came together pretty quick. Then this morning, as the players showed up, we just get their individual levels, set up a balance, and in no time, they're jamming away. And I love it. And they're, you know, we have, we have a really good headphone system here where you can, you've got a 16 faders, and the first two channels are all the drums and bass, but then channel three, four, five is kick, snare, hat, and channel six is bass. Channel 7's guitar, and 8 is rhythm guitar, and 9 and 10 are piano, and 11 and 12 are another keyboard, and the vocalist is in there, a click track if you need it, there's reverb you can add. So the thing is, the, more, the better the headphones sound to the players, the more inspired they become. And that's our job, to inspire those players. I know the rooms at Blackbird very, very well, and I trust the speakers I have in those rooms. But it's nice to get another perspective. And with headphones, obviously, everything's very close to your ear. The X65s are open here, but honestly, I'm able to really, really focus on tiny little things. I want to make sure the tail of the reverb isn't, you know, doesn't get too bizarre. I want to make sure I'm not having problem with S's or P's or T's or plosives, whatever. Um, I really loved the X65. I just felt like it was not hyped at all. What highs were there, you hear. What lows are there, you hear. I don't feel the curve or anything like that, you know. And, and honestly, accuracy in the studio is a very important thing. You know, um, the X-15s we put on the players today, not one complaint, not one problem. They look cool. They're comfortable also. I felt like they sounded great. They had plenty of top end. I felt like the X-15s had a little more 3, 4, 5K maybe than the X-65s. I felt like the X-65s were a little smoother. But when you're out there on the floor and playing, you know, you need the intelligibility. I've heard other headphones that are much brighter, 
but these, they sound pretty transparent in a way. And I love that because I don't want a pair of headphones that jacks the bass up 10 dB, you know? It's just not reality. I feel like the X15 will be popular. You know, it's, it's, it's priced right. It's pretty true across the spectrum, you know? And the funny part about any speakers, honestly, NS10s that were very popular in studios are not what you'd want to show off your record with, probably. But as a tool, and listening to them and knowing how they respond, you learn that and they're perfect. They're perfect for that. That's why a lot of people will take a recording out to their car and listen in their car because they spend a lot of time in their car and they know those speakers. And so they want to be able to compare. I think that the X15s will, will be popular both because of the price point and the quality they deliver. I like the quality. I want to hear lows, mids, and highs. You know, it's, uh, it all matters. There's relationships there. There's emotion there. One of the things I love about immersive, you know, it, it's you almost have to relearn how to listen to music in a way. But I love, here's a vocal, and next thing I know, the vocal's coming out of the sky. It's really, who needs drugs? It's, it's amazing when you can experience great immersive music. What I hope is that anyone who truly loves audio and the art of recording and working in a great studio, I hope they find their way here because this place was built for that tiny group of people. <laughs> and hopefully they'll come here, feel at home, and be able to create the magic that they want to create. That's it for today's episode of Austrian Audio Backstage. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. That's all for today. Thank you and Servus from Vienna.